Hey guys, it's Chris Lopez, kettlebellworkouts.com. How's it going? As you can see, I am uh, sitting in my car right now, and I don't know if you can see behind me or not, but Q, my son, is asleep back there. Right now we're at the girls, um, they're, they're at soccer right now, so the three of them, Mikey, uh, Joey, and Frankie all have soccer, and so we're here on the field right now, and my oldest and my wife are there watching them while they're uh, just doing some drills and playing some games and stuff like that, and Q fell asleep, so I'm here in the car with him. Uh, so we're going to do a quick uh, kettlebell workout uh, blog Q&A, and, uh, and then I'll give you a little bit of insight why I've been a little MIA as of late. Um, so I didn't speak to you guys last week at all. We had volleyball nationals and the team did okay. We went in um, ranked 14th in the country and we ended up finishing somewhere in the 20 something. Uh, so we didn't perform as well as we could, but hey, you know what, 14 year old girls, early in their volleyball career, a lot of them uh, were first time players. So you know what, as a coach, can't ask for anything more. 14th in the country going in. 20 something out of like 108 teams I think it was so that was that, that was a pretty good performance for them so I'm proud of them um, second thing is uh, pretty exciting for me is I played my first soccer game uh, I don't play soccer I never have played soccer I, in fact the last time I remember playing soccer I was six years old and I was so overweight at six years old that the coach couldn't put me anywhere except for goalies so uh, that's the extent of my soccer experience, um, other than watching, I guess, Premier League games on Saturday mornings here in Toronto. Uh, so I played my very first soccer game yesterday, and I think I did okay. Um, I think I, I was pretty much the most athletic guy on the team, for the most part, but uh, I held my own. I had a scoring opportunity that I didn't take, which I'm kind of upset about, but um, the whole reason why I'm playing soccer now is just to kind of teach the kids um, how to get out of their comfort zone. So if daddy does something that he's never done before because he wants to try it and, and see how good he can be at it, then you know what, maybe they'll follow suit and uh, it'll just show them that, hey, you know what, like you've got to try new things and that uh, if you want to be successful, you've got to get out of your comfort zone and that's one of the things that I'm doing, so uh, playing soccer. Okay, so now we're on to the Q&A and I've got a great question here. Um, I don't know who sent it, however. You didn't send a name, so if, if you are the one who sent this question, then please email me back or um, hit me up on the comments and, and let me know. Um, okay, so the question is, it's about snatching and uh, doing a kettlebell snatch. When I do a one-arm snatch, I seem to have a fairly good strength and form on my right side because I'm right-handed. But on my left side, I really struggle to do a good snatch and I am really much weaker, which confuses me as I thought most of the power comes through the hips. I notice in lunges I am slightly weaker on the left, which I work on, but the lack of strength is really pronounced in the snatch. I'm using an 8 kilogram kettlebell, which is not too heavy. I think after a lot of work my swings are good, so I feel I have the basic swing action down. Do you have any advice on this problem? I think the question that you have to ask is, um, not so much whether or not you're stronger or weaker on that left side, but if you are right-handed dominant, maybe you're more coordinated on the right side than you are on the left, and that could be a uh, result of the discrepancy, or that's why the discrepancy occurs. So my suggestion to you is um, maybe practice a little bit more on the left, maybe start with your left so that it'll, you'll give that left, uh, your left hand a little bit more time to fatigue, or a little more time to rest so that it doesn't overly fatigue, and focus on practicing more on the left side because I know from personal experience for me once my swing and my hip thrust um, started to become pretty consistent I knew that it was more coordination and my ability to use my left hand it my left hand more efficiently than it was with my right my right pretty much picks things up nice and easy um, but my left was always a big coordination issue so I mean that could be it if it is in fact a strength issue then my suggestion is to get used to carrying um, that load or heavier loads over your head with your weaker arms so you would have to practice your press and or even your get-ups and get used to your shoulder being able to carry that load overhead um, consistently and making sure that you're locking out and that you're not too far forward and the bell is actually behind your head so 
that's my advice to you it could be a coordination issue and if it is then that's practice and getting used to the movement if it is in fact a strength issue then uh, practice getting used to carrying loads over your head so that might even mean doing a push press with a 12 uh, and holding it there for time that could be uh, handstand variations that could be um, practicing your snatches a little bit more or that could be just uh, working on getting your presses um, to an acceptable level where you're able to carry a little bit more weight over your head so I hope that helps uh, the second question that we have and if you just give me a second I've got it on my iPhone here um, okay so the second question is I've been training with kettlebells for a while now just got your program do I still need to start with a beginning or beginner or prep exercises or can I just dive right in not sure what your stance is on this but I'm assuming it's similar to mine in that if you're starting any new program whether you've been working with KBs or dumbbells all your life it's always good to start slow and easy and easy so as to make sure you have proper technique avoid injury etc I think something like that would be good to address okay so um, where do you start the best thing to do is probably yes start with a prep program and just do it for a week and see how you feel with all those exercises mainly the core prep exercises uh, one of the things that I I get all my clients to do is make sure that they can hold a two-minute plank that is a uh, probably one of the most important things that you can do especially when you're stabilizing weight over your head or uh, you're learning how to really uh, maintain an arched back while you're hip hinging and, and uh, while you're swinging a bell or you're snatching a bell or even if you're cleaning you've got to really maintain that arched back and so that two minute plank helps uh, once you pass that benchmark then yeah kind of gauge and see what your level is at but the whole thing to remember here guys is that you're not you're not draining you're training you're practicing and so it's not about going until you puke it's about practicing and becoming efficient at the movements and allowing your body to adapt naturally not forcing your body into countless um, I guess progressive overload adaptions going further and further and further in because by that time by the time you get to the 12th week where we're in the advanced fat loss stage you'll be burning out so yes it is a slow and steady approach if you are overweight you didn't get overweight overnight you're not gonna lose everything overnight either so remember that it's got to be a slow and steady approach think practice not work out and there's a whole progression behind it okay so those are two questions for the Q&A uh, you'll be listening to this on Friday or you'll be watching me on Friday so uh, have a great weekend and I hope you enjoyed your Memorial Day which was last weekend and some of these cars going off perfect anyway I'm uh, Chris Lopez from kettlebellworkouts.com signing off from the soccer pitch uh, hoping that my son doesn't wake up because he didn't have a nap today. Take care, guys.